Hi, in this video, you will learn about the past perfect tense. This tense actually allows you to talk about things that have happened in the past in a much more interesting and powerful way. Here, I will explain uses of past perfect tense, its syntax and sentences like past perfect affirmative and negative. The past perfect tense, also called the pluperfect, is used to describe one action that happened before another action in the past. It is considered as the past of the past. The past perfect tense can be used to provide information about the scenarios to indicate the order of events in the past, to denote the time until a specific point in the past, representing an incomplete action that was not done in a specific time in the past before another simple past action. Let's consider sentences indicating the order of events in the past. My friends had left when my, my dad arrived. The train had arrived on the second platform when we reached the station. Now look at sentences denoting the time until a certain point in the past. John had completed all eight grades of Western music by the time he was 15 years old. Had John and Zara arrived when I called you yesterday? Examples of incomplete action in the past. The students had gone for their games period before the teacher could inform them about the assignments they had to do. It was so unfortunate that John had died before the series was over. In the next slide, I will explain past perfect affirmative and negative. Past perfect affirmative sentence. A positive statement or generic sentence. Let's understand the rule or syntax. Sentence starts with subject followed by helping verb, main verb and full stop at the end of the sentence. Past participle form of the main verb is used and helping verb had is applicable for singular and plural. Let's consider following sentences. First person singular, I had gone to the office. As per the syntax, subject I, helping verb had, past participle form of the main verb gone, and full stop at the end. Similarly, First person plural, we had gone to the office. Second person singular, you had gone to the office. Second person plural, you had gone to the office. Third person singular, he had gone to the office. In this sentence, instead of pronoun he, we can mention the name of the person. John had gone to the office. She had gone to the office. Let's specify her name in place of pronoun she. Zara had gone to the office. It had gone to the forest. If we are referring to an animal, let's say tiger, then the sentence will be tiger had gone to the forest. Third person plural, they had gone to the office. We can mention the names instead of pronoun they. John and Zara had gone to the office. In the next slide, I will explain some more examples of past perfect 
affirmative sentence. Examples of past perfect affirmative sentence. I had completed my work when my parents arrived. This sentence indicates the order of more than one past event. John had read all the Harry Potter novels by the time he was 15 years old. My brother had solved five math problems before I completed two. The place had closed by the time we got there. He had brought all the documents when you reached. We felt sad that the movie had already started before we got there. My father told me that we had met John already, but I don't think so. When we were in college, we had performed this song live. My friend John had already watched the movie before we met. Past perfect negative sentence. A statement with word not is called negative sentence or pessimistic statement. Let's understand the rule for past perfect negative sentence. It starts with subject followed by helping verb, word not, main verb and full stop at the end. Past participle form of the main verb is used and helping verb had is applicable and pessimistic word not is placed between helping verb and main verb. Let's consider following sentences. First person singular, I had not gone to the office. As per the syntax, subject I, helping verb had, pessimistic word not, main verb gone, and full stop at the end. Similarly, first person plural, we had not gone to the office. Second person singular, you had not gone to the office. Second person plural, you had not gone to the office. Third person singular, he had not gone to the office. In this sentence, instead of pronoun he, we can mention the name of the person. John had not gone to the office. She had not gone to the office. Let's specify her name in place of she. Zara had not gone to the office. It had not gone to the forest. If we are referring to an animal, let's say tiger, then the sentence will be, tiger had not gone to the forest. Third person plural, they had not gone to the office. In place of pronoun they, we can mention the names. John and Zara had not gone to the office. In the next slide, I will explain some more examples of past perfect negative sentence. Examples of past perfect negative sentence. I had not completed my work when my parents arrived. John had not read all the Harry Potter novels by the time he was 15 years old. My brother had not solved five math problems before I completed two. The place had not closed by the time we got there. He had not brought all the documents when you reached. We felt sad that the movie had not already started before we got there. My father told me that we had not met John already, but I don't think so. When we were in college, we had not performed this song live. My friend 
John had not already watched the movie before we met. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe to this channel, like and share our videos, provide your comments, followers and practice to enhance your English fluency.